Hello, and thank you once again for stopping by creatingwebsite.org. Today, we want to teach you how to put a WordPress image slider on your blog or your website. Uh, we're going to install an image slider for WordPress th that is entitled Meta Pro Slider. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to click and go to your WordPress, your dashboard. Okay, so once you get to your dashboard, you want to go to where it says plugins. Okay, plugins right there. Once you click where it says plugins, you want to go to add new. Now, after you go to add new, you want to click or you want to type in Meta Pro Slider. And it's going to take you to a plugin that says Meta Slider. That's what you want to install. We already have it installed. Okay. Now, you are going to need to pay a little bit for a nice slider, but believe me, it's worth it. Let's show you how to do that. We have Meta Pro Slider. See that right there? This is how you're going to get the Meta Pro Slider once you install Meta Slider. You're going to go to the metaslider.com. Metaslider.com. Okay, it's right there. Then you're going to click on Get Meta Slider. It's going to give you the prices. $19. Believe me, it's worth it. Okay, so you want to go ahead and purchase that. Click Buy Now. Now, once you buy now, okay. You're going to go back to your dashboard, and once you go to your dashboard, you're going to click, click plugins, because once you install the Meta Pro Slider, it's going to download the file. You go to add new, okay, and then you want to go to upload plugin, and then you want to choose the, the place where you saved your file that you downloaded. You want to click that, okay, and then go ahead and install it. Now, once it's installed, you're going to have something pop up that says Meta Pro Slider. Now let's get to work. Now to create this slider that you see on our web page that's going on right now, you got you can click here to advance it. You got things blinking, flashing. You got hyperlinks that you could click. It takes you to purchasing the domain name. Um, it's real nice. Okay, so let's uh, see how we could put something like this on your website. So we're going to go back <clears throat> to Meta Pro Slider. Once again, you click here, and we're going to create a new one. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Okay, we're going to hit the plus, to create a new one. Okay, now once that's done, we're going to label this one. Uh, let's label it Tutorial. It's taking a little while here. So, okay, so let's go ahead and name this one tutorial okay. now once you got it named we're going to go ahead and click add slide now you have different features you could do an image post feed vimeo youtube external url or layer slide you want to click layer slide now we already have images uploaded to upload an image you go to upload Select the file you would like to upload and get it from your hard drive or wherever you have the file. Okay? Our file is already here, so let's click it. You're going to click your file, hit Add to Slider. Now remember, you want to click Layer Slide. Okay, now once you have your image, you click Launch Layer Editor. Okay? Now this is where you can add images here. See, all these images you see on our webpage. But the way you do this is we're going to go ahead and erase this just so you can see how we did it. Erase that. Erase that. We're going to erase that one. We're going to erase that one. Okay. So basically, when you upload your image, you're going to have you're going to have an image like this. Okay. You go to new layer. And say we want to type in domain names. Okay. To make it larger, you go over here. Click that. Select it. You can bold it. You can change the font. 
Uh, let's go with the Georgia font. You could change the size of the font. Let's go to 42. Or let's go to 48. Okay, there you go. And you can center it. And then you just bring it on over, say to the middle. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to 72. Then you gotta stretch it so it fits in. To move it, you click you click the little um, this little crossbar here, you click that. Okay, and then you got it. Now, how do you get it to shake and all that? See where it says animation wait? You want to wait three seconds and then we want it to flash. And then we want to wait another, I'm sorry, 0.3 seconds. You get it to flash. Then we'll wait 1.3 seconds and we'll make it wobble. Then you hit save. Okay. Now, to put an image, new layer, okay, see where it says insert image from media gallery or image. We want to click image. I mean, I'm sorry. We want to click insert image from media gallery and we'll say the free tutorials which we've already designed in our Photoshop program. Click add to slider and you want to enlarge it to the size you want. That's about the size of our image. Grab the crossbar, slide it down. Let's add another image Come over here. Let's say web hosting $399. Add to slider. Oops, I'm sorry. I added it to the same one. Forgot to add the new layer. So you add new layer. Click image. Add, you know, insert image. Web hosting. Add to slider. And you're going to bring this down to about the size. Okay. Then you can slide that to the middle. And we're going to put one more image over here. Let's put domain names. Add to slider. Oops, I keep forgetting to do the new layer. New layer first. Sorry about that. Insert image. Domain names. Add to slider. Then you come and resize it. That's about the size of the image we made in Photoshop. Grab the crossbar and you put it over here. Okay, let's bring it bring them down a little bit. You can also put effects on these images here. You click it, tell it to wait 0.5 seconds, and we want it to flash, wait two seconds, and we want it to wobble. Say the same thing here. 0.5 seconds. Uh, let's do a little delay on this one. So we'll point 1.1. We'll let it flash. 2.5 seconds we'll let it wobble and then we want this one to flash at 1.8 seconds so that way they won't all flash at the same time and 2.8 we want this one to wobble okay and then you hit save and you hit close let's go to uh, uh, we're going to save and preview to see how it looks Internet's going a little bit slow. Apologize about that. But it's saving and it'll give you a preview. So this is what you got. There you go. A little basic slider. Okay. So let's go back. Um, we're going to make the domain main a little bit bigger. It seemed like it was doubled. So we're going to spread it out a little bit. Hit save. And then we'll hit close. Let's save and preview now and see how our slider looks. Looks a little bit better. It's flashing. Got everything going on there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of close out of here. Now, how do you put a hyperlink? Say we want it to go to a certain page. You go here. And let's say you want it to go to www creatingwebsite.org you hit ok now when they click on this image it will take them to your web page let's go ahead and hit close and we're going to save and preview and let's see what kind of slider we have now ok you got your domains flashing say I want to click and visit the web page I click it 
it's now a hyperlink. See how it changes to the hat? And it takes you to the web page. And there's the slider that you have on our web page. Okay? So that's basically it. Um, it's a simple slider. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. Info at creatingwebsite.org. That is info at creatingwebsite.org. Thank you for tuning in. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.